A tornado warning knocked out Talkback 16 last night, leaving some callers upset. But that just gave them more time to really focus on what to say. Y'all didn't play Talkback today because of a tornado? Grow up. I can't believe you skipped Talkback. That's the best thing y'all have on this station. I understand that with the storms we had last night, that weather was more important than Talkback. But I really missed the talk back. Does that mean you're doing a double take tonight? Hey, I just saw the story about the poor dude that got hit by lightning when he was sleeping. Oh, man, that's got to be the worst. Talk about uh, bad karma. I just don't get it that you're weather guys. Oh, if it's 90 degrees or above for three days, it's a heat wave. It, it's been a heat wave since June. Here's my advice. Get rid of that snowblower nonsense that you have on and give out air conditioners out for every day after three. I'm happy for Nikki Cries. Congratulations. That's wonderful. But my concern is, where is Allie? Allie, Allie, Allie. She's not reporting in the morning anymore. You have some new personnel reporting on the weekend weather. Has she disappeared? Where is she? I don't know if she's a NASCAR fan or not, but she did pretty good, Emily Kress. You ought to give her a raise. She deserves it. She was out in that heat and everything. Photos to Joe Snedeker this morning. He wore that hat and he did the forecast for next week. He is such an awesome guy. You go, Joe. Lots of prayers for your trip next week. I just want to compliment your station and the hardworking meteorologists that stay on the air when there is any danger. People gripe and complain, oh, I couldn't see my program, I couldn't see this. Hello? These people could be saving lives, not worried about a program. And I'll tell you, honestly, who is a better weather forecaster than Joe Snedeker? That would be Punxsutawney Phil. You can call Talkback 16 at 1-800-228-WNEP. You can always find Talkback 16 online at WNEP.com.